So welcome to Harris Field, Belmont, po Belmont Media's coverage of girls field hockey. Out on the field you see our bright pink. This is the field hockey's breast cancer awareness game. I'm joined by Chris Rochi. This is Cheryl Grace and we'll be bringing you the game tonight. Good evening Chris. Good evening Cheryl. Thanks for having me. It, uh, as Cheryl said it's the inaugural breast cancer awareness game here at Harris Field and Belmont's already on the board. And that's Carly Gaziano with the goal. Didn't quite see who maybe passed that. Might have been sophomore Mackenzie Clark, but senior captain Carly Gaziano gets the first goal of the game very early into this game. That was surprising. They really, they just took it from the first face-off, if that's not even a face-off, and, and they took it down and kept it in front of the other net, and wham, first Absolutely. goal. Absolutely, so we have Testa Santos with the ball right now over to Lola Rochi, both senior captains. And now Gretchen Hanley. So Belmont's playing the Brookline High School team. Brookline coming in at 5-5-1, five, five and one, I believe, in the season, and Belmont's at 9-2. and two. And I talked with Captain, I think she's the captain, Tess, before the game, and I asked, you know, what's the, what's the story? And she says, well, they haven't really played Brookline before. She did say that in the rankings, um, Belmont was higher, but she said that Brookline does play a lot of good teams, and so they were just kind of going to wait and see how the first minutes go and kind of feel it out. Sure. And uh, obviously a good start here with the goal on the board. Um, so we do have the roster for Brookline, but uh, obviously those are some new names for us, so we'll try to get credit to everyone there. and We'll get the roster here for Belmont, and the starters will announce that in a minute. As the ball goes out of bounds, Belmont will inbound it. Oh, goes the other way. Someone must have kicked it. Maybe a foot violation. Again, probably not even intentional, but it hits the foot, and that's just too bad. You get called. <laughs> Correct. Going the other way. If that's that what I learned last time. Got to get your feet out of the way. So Belmont on the rush here, that's Gretchen Hanley, one of the attackers, senior. Gets it to Lola Rucci, tries to cross that to the middle, and then Testa Santos with the ball. Brookline gets it out and tries to counterattack. Oh, wow, just Broken up right nice away. there. <laughs> so one of the things that's tough to visualize here is the numbers for the Belmont team with the pink and white. So we'll try to make sure we Give credit to the right girl on the team here, but. So that's Mackenzie Clark rushing it up. Nice now ball I in the middle. One of the games I watched, Mackenzie made several scores. I think she, she plays a yes. role where she can shoot sometimes. So she's a midfielder, has one of the hardest shots I've seen, and has been scoring a lot lately with that. I think a couple hat tricks recently in the last two weeks, wow. she's got, she's recorded two hat tricks. So yes, she's got, uh, I would say the hardest shot on the team, I think, and she uses, utilizes it well. It's nice to have someone that you can kind of go to for scoring, not that, you know, every mm -hmm. time she gets it, she's going to score, but Oh, here's one Here's a corner. Penalties. Yeah. Yeah, penalty. Here's McKenzie herself. She makes a nice little move there and fires a high Whoa. shot. Unbelievable. Top corner. That's, that's a fantastic shot. That's why they put shot. on those, those goggle thingies in there. Yep. That's, uh, that can happen. That's one of the better shots you'll see. And I believe that may not be a goal. They acted, they didn't bring it back to they the They didn't center. bring it back, and that might be a dangerous sh shot where they may blow the whistle by, so. Oh, here we are celebrating, and we didn't even pay Yeah, so forgive us okay. uh, on the rules. We don't know every rule here. We're learning field hockey as we go, Cheryl and myself, but uh, I think that might have been a, a dangerous shot, so they took it back. But Belmont now has the ball, inbounding it. Alex did explain to me that that is really the judgment It's a subjective, correct, call. Raf in the moment, mm -hmm. and so yeah, and it's not like you can argue because it is their call. Theory. Absolutely. So as we have a little pause here, we have the um, the starting lineup for Belmont. 
On attack, we have Carly Gaziano, who put in the first goal, uh, alongside with Ryan um, on the left side. I'm sorry, Ryan Brodigan, Lola Rochi, and Gretchen Hanley. Those are our four attackers. Midfielders, we have Mackenzie Clark, alongside Tess DeSantis, and Mia Ferrari. And then on the defender side, we have Elsie Lock and Schultz, Neve Lesnick, and Anna Hopkins. Mm. She worked hard, but that one just slipped out of bounds. That's why that ball is back on Brookline's mm -hmm. stick. And Brookline tries to rush it, but broken up by Belmont. Mm -hmm. We have maybe a stick violation there, and it's going back the other way, so Brookline will possess the ball. Brookline's trying to get it through to the offensive zone. They're going to get it through, but that might just go out of bounds. Yeah, and it'll be Belmont ball heading the other way. And I did also want to mention our uh, the goaltender for Belmont is senior Julia Hurley. And has she been goaltending for... The four years? I believe they? she has. She's also the uh, lacrosse goalie. I know that. Okay. So uh, she's very well adverse to seeing and protecting the net, and she does a great job. Another one went out, so Brookline's got it. Whoa, that one was just sitting there. It feels like the teams are feeling each other out a little bit here early. A lot of neutral zone play. And here we got the ball wide to Gretchen Hanley for Belmont. She's broken up. A little hard to see the ball, trying to follow it. Yeah. So there's a cross to the middle. And out of the side, quick move into the ball there from Rochi to Hanley. And Belmont will keep possession. Way over on the side. Great, thanks. Got our Belmont media team here helping us out, checking out everything. Now, as soon as they walk away, something will go wrong, but that's the way it There's is. Mackenzie <laughs> Clark with a nice Ooh. move. Tries to get that puck to the middle, ball in the middle. I'm gonna I hear you. <laughs> I know. That's so Show funny. Show and I are both used to doing some ice hockey in the winter. And uh, just transitioning over to the field Together hockey with the ball. Hockey. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's so interesting. That one, they went down there and they, you know, try to get a shot off. But there's so many people in front and it's not allowed to hit your foot. So tell me how it can possibly go in, you know, if, if, you're, if you yes. keep it on the ground. It's, I mean, there's like, no it, way. It, it gets muddled in front, but you'll see a lot of the times they'll be they'll jump because they're anticipating the ball yes. is going to hit their feet, so they'll jump to avoid that penalty. So here's Brookline on the attack, trying to get some offensive possession here, and they do. And a nice breakup by Lock and Schultz, and they'll maintain possession. Oh, being called back, we get it, but we have to do it from a different spot. She tries to put it across pretty hard. Belmont pressuring. They turn the ball. And it's been going back and forth here as Brooklyn tries to enter the half of the zone. It goes out of bounds. We'll continue with Brookline's possession. Brookline inbounds it. And Mackenzie Clark turns it over. And there's a whistle there where it'll be turned back to Brookline ball, I believe. Yeah, I think Brookline nope. didn't realize it was theirs. You Correct. realized, but <laughs> they weren't listening to you. So great turnout tonight for 
the Breast Cancer, Cancer Awareness Night. Oh, that's um, good. I know that there was a lot of information out there about it. People did know about it. It's great. There's a uh, the Belmont youth? youth Field Hockey are supporting. I see a lot of the, the younger players out here in their pink supporting the that's team. That's good. It's great that there is even a Belmont Youth Field Hockey program now. Yes, I think that's relatively new, if not new this year. And then uh, I was talking to one of the mothers of a player, and she said that there are m enough players where they have to roster for certain games because they don't have a, uh, there's not enough teams, but uh, a lot of action and a lot of uh, interest with that. Here she goes. Number 11. That was Carly Garziano with a nice oh, move to get that the ball. And now it's to Rochi, who tries to get it to the front of the net. It's blocked by Brookline. And now head Brookline's direction. Brookline looking to do a quick transition, but the ball goes out of bounds, and I'll turn over back to Belmont. And they'll inbound it here in a second. Coach Just Smith helping out. And Coach Smith How had long her. has she been coaching? So it's 10 years, wow. and uh, she recorded her 200th victory this year. That's exciting. Which is, yeah, a big milestone. So she's been great, and I know uh, her teammates love her. And she's very, puts a lot of passion and energy into it. So back to action here. We have Mackenzie Clark with the ball for Belmont. Trying to decide if she's going to just dribble or if she's going to. Yeah. I don't know if that's called dribbling or not. But. <laughs> they, quick moving. It's a test to Santos, I believe, with the ball now. She's going to try to cross that ball. Brookline defender. We have a foot violation, so that'll go back towards Belmont. Well, the pink, while we can't see the numbers very well, it certainly stands out like you can see the players, you know? That is bright pink tonight. I'm liking it. Here goes Clark again, trying to get that ball to the middle. Brookline defends that well, gets it out to the outside. It, We've got a violation on Belmont, so Brookline will have the ball. Most of the possession's been down in the Brookline zone, so Belmont's had some pressure offensively. Here they have it again. There's a nice ball into the middle. Belmont's trying to put it home, but can't get there. Brookline. I went too far. Defends it nicely. Good thing I didn't miss a goal. <laughs> and a foot violation on Belmont. That's going to go the other way for Brookline. Oops, got to take it back somewhere here. Guess where the violation happened. Oh, wow, nice Red well by Gaziano. Gets it to the middle. To Brodigan. Brodigan gets it to Rochi. She tries to get it to the middle. It just goes wide out of bounds, so that'll turn over it over to Brookline. And what position did you say was like Roshi playing and Gaziano? They kind of look similar in the field, So the attack, yeah, there's four attackers, and, and there's some strategy. Some teams will do three attackers, and Coach Smith has four attackers. So there's kind of two on the left, Gaziano and Br Brodigan, and then two on the right, which is Roshi and Hanley. And, and Brodig and Rochi play that middle, middle left, middle right, respectively. Here's Clark again. I think we have a stick violation against Brookline. So Belmont will maintain possession. And right back at it. Again, Clark trying to get it to the middle. Another violation, but on Brookline, they'll keep the possession for Belmont. Here's Mackenzie Clark again, just trying to get that ball to the middle of the net where maybe they can tip one in, but goes out of bounds. Brookline will 
take over possession. And that'll actually do the first quarter. Wow, that's very quick. fast. Whoa. <laughs> we will take a little break and be back shortly. I'll say that not, we just have the one score that happened really early on. Opening minute and a half, I think. Belmont put a goal on the board. Uh, Kylie Garziano had the goal. We'll try to get some of the um, scorekeeping later, but in terms of the assist, I know it looked like it was Mackenzie Clark, but that's unofficial. Got it. All right, here for the second quarter, Belmont versus Brookline, girls field hockey. And end of the first quarter, left us at one for Belmont, zero for Brookline. And I guess, so in this sport, they stay for the whole half, so we're still going the same direction, which is good. Correct, and I think they'll switch at the up. half. <laughs> so, yeah, so we got a one nothing lead here for Belmont. They scored very early in the first quarter. Had most of the possession and pressure down on the Brookline zone, but Brookline did a good job defending in front of the net, and uh, we're underway here. So Belmont has possession. Mackenzie Clark gets it up to Brodigan. There's a violation, Brookline takes over. Brookline trying to get some possession in the Belmont zone. Haven't quite been able to do that yet, but uh, we'll see how they do the second quarter. So nice defense there by Brookline. Well, we have a foot violation, and that'll go back towards Belmont. Testa Sanis takes it in, makes a nice move, tries to get up to Gaziano. See if that ball stays in bounds. It is, it and Gaziano's hustling right after it. That was amazing, because there's no pitch to the field. And intercepted by uh, Testa Santis. She's going to try to cross that. Get it to the middle. Broken up by Brookline. And we have a foot violation against Belmont that's going to turn over to I don't nope, know. Nope, it's I don't not. know how they know whose I th foot. I'm telling I you. Thought I thought, I looked at the uh, Brookline coach and right. she was pointing that way, so I just assumed that was going that way. But no, Belmont has possession. Again, it's Clark. Oh and I think it uh, might have hit her foot as well, so that'll turn over to Brookline. Okay, she's getting the ball way back there somewhere. have the right person in the camera. <laughs> so Brookline has the ball right now. Getting it to the middle of the field. They're trying to get it up towards the Belmont zone. They get it in. The nice defensive play there by Anna Hopkins. And then Brookline intercepts and tries to get it through. Belmont with some nice defense, but Brookline still maintaining possession. Tries to get it to the net. And we have a corner, I believe, coming up for Brookline. Oh. So Brookline hasn't had a shot on net yet, but they'll have a great opportunity here with a corner. And Belmont's going to try to defend here um, with their defense. And Julia Hurley here is, is the goaltender. It's a big opportunity here for Brookline. Corners inbound. Brookline tries to get a hold of it. Getting it to the middle, but well defended by Belmont. They really swarmed it, I would say. They didn't, as soon as the girl tapped it, people were on her, you know, the Brookline girl. The first one that got it off that corner came yeah. right in front of her. Yeah. I guess that's what you're trying to do. It was done well. well that was nice and solid. So Brookline on the attack. Nice move, but broken up well. And that is Anna Hopkins with a nice defensive play. Tries to get it to Gaziano, and it's going to go in Belmont's direction here with a violation. So Tess DeSantis is going to try to move that ball forward. Intercepted by Brookline. Then she got it back. And gets it right back. And Clark now has it. She's going to oh. try to get that up. Fans on it a little swing. bit yeah, with a big swing, and Brookline was able to capitalize there. And now 
Bellman has the violation, so Brookline's going to take over. So Brookline starting to put a little pressure this quarter after having had a little chat there at the at the break. There's Carly. Yep. So I uh, think a foot violation there, Carly Graziano. So Brookline takes over. They're trying to get that to the middle, try to put some pressure on Julia Hurley. And Belmont comes out with it. It's Gretchen Hanley. Wow, she's, she's really Yeah, she's it. quite a runner, getting it through there. And that's going to try to cross that to the middle to our teammate. Brookline does a good job intercepting. And we've got Belmont possession and an inbound. And for the inbound, they just bring it, put it right on the line, and then hit it, right? It's Good question, Cheryl. I think, <laughs> I think, but sometimes I think they maybe it'll take it in themselves. I don't know if it has to be a pass. It usually okay. seems to be, but. Because, you know, in, in soccer, you have to. You have it, to, right? yeah, or a basketball, correct. Uh, Belmont puts it to the middle. They have some pressure going on here. See if they can put a shot on net. I think it's a foot violation against Rochi, and it's going to go the other way. Brookline trying to counterattack quickly here. I think it went out, yeah. Yeah, out on Brookline, so Belmont will take over. I think we have a substitution here. That's Bryn Conley in for Ryan Brodigan. So Belmont with their first substitution of the game. And do they have to, do they just run in like lacrosse people? Or yes, they, yeah, very similar. They can just run in and it's not where it has to be on a whistle or anything yeah. like basketball. As long as you don't end up with too many people Correct. at time. So here Belmont possesses the ball. You get it up to the corner. Rochi with the ball. She's going to try to cross that middle. It gets broken up. And now Belmont, that I believe is freshman Neve, or sophomore Neve Leslie with the ball. She puts it towards the net, but it goes out of bounds. So Brookline will take over. Oh wait, I'm watching the wrong person here. It's the person in the middle with it, okay. I, thought, I saw the person come back from getting the ball. I thought she still had it. I got it now, I found her. Brookline with a nice counter. Got the ball to the middle here. And they're trying to put the attack on. It's broken up by Belmont. That's Mackenzie Clark with the ball. Nice maneuvering. And she's going to try to get that ball to the middle here, I bet. But Brookline intercepts. They're back the other way. A lot of back and forth here with attacks and counterattacks for both sides. Not too many shots on net, though, this time. I, I, I do think there's a lot of back and forth, but I'm not seeing it get too close. Correct. That is what's hard in this sport, I think. Correct, yep. It, uh, you know, the offense will try to get it to the front of the net, but there's a lot of defenders there, so it's it's a tough situation uh, to really get that clean shot. Hey, here's Lesnick will that. cross that to the middle. That's surprising that she could whack it that hard and it didn't hit someone's foot. Sorry, but that was surprising. Oh, and there's a well, nice break up by Mackenzie. She just took that, and she's going to get that towards the net, just over the net. That might have got called one of those dangerous ones again, though. <laughs> it did go It could. Off. We, we saw one of those oh, earlier. No. It looked like we had a goal earlier on a corner from... Clark, but it was, uh, I think, ruled as a dangerous shot, so it did not count. So Brookline's going to try to get through here. Gaziano defends it well. Gains possession. Nice pass over to Clark. Clark now, ball in the middle to Rochi. She kind of lets it go through. Doesn't get all the way through. Brookline's able to defend it, but back with the ball is Clark over to Hanley. Oh, oh wow. nice cross. There was the stuff going Almost on the a good there. connection there. Gaziano got a piece of it, but not enough of it to get on the net. 
Nice ball movement there by Belmont. That was a, a nice attack, almost to a, a shot on that. Okay, now, like, why is, okay, then she puts it there. I have no idea why she just put it there and not right in front of the net. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine on that one, Cheryl. Because before they were bringing it to the middle, you know. Yep, we got a foul on Brooklyn. Belmont takes possession. Tess DeSantis with the ball. See, that one I understand, because that's like where the foul yeah. happened, you know. She gets it to the middle. Rochi with the ball. She gets it over to Hanley. And I think we might have had a foot violation there, so that'll go back towards Brookline's possession. We have about five and a half minutes left in the first half. Belmont up one nothing with an early goal in the first quarter. That is something about the sport. It just goes and goes and goes. There's not a lot of, you know, time. I guess there's some time when they pick up the ball and reset, but it just keeps going. Yeah, it's going. Constant, constant motion. They'll try to get the, if even the ball goes out of bounds, they'll try to get it in quick. You know, they don't seem to have to wait. Like in soccer, you have to wait for the whistle of the ref. They like to wait. They like to count. There's substitutions. There's all these reasons it takes a while. And this one, I like it. It just goes, goes, goes. They might not like it. They might want a breath once in a while, but I guess that's why yeah, they're, they're definitely young, in, young and in shape. I was not us. <laughs> it's not us. Better them than us. Oh, she's oh. in. Look at that. Nice ball by Clark. Oh. Almost tipped by Hanley. She just missed. Did, yeah. Another offensive that attack angle. threat there by Belmont. Starting to put a little bit more pressure here in the second part of this quarter. Belmont's starting to see some rhythm on offense. That was a good breakup. That was, she yeah, that she read well. it. It was a good interception there. And here, Bates DeSantis gets the ball back for Belmont. She gets through. And they'll maintain possession on a foot violation there, so DeSantis will keep the ball for Belmont and look to distribute it. Gets it to the middle. Brookland does a decent job defending there. And there's a little battle here for the possession. DeSantis with a nice ball. Almost connecting to the middle with Carly Gaziano. Oh, Belmont just got it right back. That's a centering pass by Conley. Gets deflected. Belmont keeps possession. Run out of bounds. So Lillian bound it. Oh, my wow, possession. Yeah, she fast. got that from going out of bounds. I thought that was going to go out. Oh, what did she bounce it off somebody? Good it for may her. have. That's what happened. Good so Belmont keeps possession. Yeah, very smart play to keep that in possession for Belmont. Now it'll go back towards Brookline and out of bounds. Okay. So Brookline looks to inbound it here. Got two and a half minutes left in the first half. Brookline maintains possession there on a foot violation. And then broken up. I think she didn't even see four coming. I think she just. <laughs> yeah, nice play. That was Rochi centering it, crossing it. Nice save by the Brookline goalie. And another threat here that looks like DeSantis. And a rebound just wide. Wow, that was actually yeah. some good shots. I would yeah. call those shots on goal, even though they don't make goal because there's so many people. But those were yeah. definitely. I think there were one went through. The goaltender for uh, Brookline made a fantastic save, kick save, and then they had a rebound chance it just missed. So Bellon, again, some more pressure here in this latter half of this quarter, uh, just not capitalizing with a goal. So Brookline gets it out. They're going to try to get that up through the middle, they, or up to the sideline, I should say, and they do. But then Belmont takes possession. 
That's Elsie Lake and Schultz. She's a freshman defender. Does a real nice job there and then gets broken up by Brookline. Defender. So Lake and Schultz will maintain possession for Belmont. There's a nice ball to the middle. Rochi quite can't handle, but then gets it back. Then gets it towards the net. But Brookline start on their defense there in the middle. Gets it right out and tries to possess it. And they have it up on the corner there. But again, turned over by Belmont. So Belmont's really been doing some great counterattacking in their yeah, midfielders and defenders. They come over the half. They're just stomping down when it starts up. And honestly, I, it could be the colors, but it seems like the way that the play is going, Belmont has more players on the field. Do you know what I'm saying? They yep. don't. Oh, almost but, there. Nice opportunity. No, they, yeah, the, they the, seem, the pink certainly shines bright here. And they really are possessing, so it seems so. Oh, gosh. So I think Belmont's going to be able to have a corner here to hopefully capitalize here as we near the end of the first half. In fact, the time is off on the first half, but they will continue with the penalty. That's why they called, I don't know if you noticed that, they just called everybody up because it doesn't matter, they don't need any defenders because it's not going to go to back down the other way. So they can get back in the play, but at some point the continuation of this play is over and then the half will be called. But Belmont has it, it's Clark with a couple of nice moves, shot on net, and a rebound goal. Looks like it's going to count. Not sure who gets the goal there. It was a nice move by Clark on the counter. I don't know who got that goal. And I can't do a replay, darn it. <laughs> I did actually have the camera in that direction, but I have it zoomed out a little bit because I was trying to catch how many people were down there and then how the other team like runs down after it starts up. So usually the girl who scores will pick the ball up, but sh because it was in the half, I don't think they did, so we don't know who scored that goal. It Not was, a goal. It wasn't a goal. No. There, there we got our uh, well, that's a reason. That's why. This is what we know. We thought it went, we thought the, goal, the ref made some. Oh, hit a foot. You have to hear that. Okay, so we're getting clarification. Not a goal. Uh, it was Very a foot good. violation before the ball went in. But So then we end that first half, and it's 1-0 Belmont. Right, welcome back to Belmont Media's coverage of our girls' field hockey. This is our breast cancer awareness game. We are headed into the second period. Score is just 1-0. That score was made within the first minute-ish or two minutes, and then a lot of back and forth since, but no more scoring. So we'll see what happens in the second half here. Yeah, so we'll switch sides, so oh, we'll yep. see how this goes. Belmont, I say, had more possession um, in that first half. Definitely more offensive chances, but um, Brookline had a couple flashes, and we'll see how they try to retaliate here in the second half. So here's Belmont with the ball. That's Gretchen Hanley. And they maintain possession. Hanley tries to get it to the middle. She does. Mia Ferrari with the hit in. Stopped by Brookline. Ferrari State gains the momentum again, gains possession. Over to Hopkins. And we have a whistle there. Not sure, maybe it's foot violation, so Brookline's gonna take over. Brookline tries to make a connection there, but goes out of bounds, so Belmont will take over again. That's Ferrari again to Rochi to Hanley. Hanley gets through. And Bella maintains possession. They try to attack quickly here. They get it to the middle. But stopped there by Brookline. Brookline gets it out and tries to get it over half court or half field here. Belmont with a nice interception. And there's a violation, so Belmont will take over. DeSantis with the ball for Belmont. Oh 
And we'll have to reset that. They maybe weren't far enough away from her, I think. I think maybe a five yards is yeah. maybe the, the rule there. I remember that. Here's Clark, Mackenzie Clark with the ball. She maintains it. She'll look to capitalize here, get the ball to the middle. Goes through one. Looks like Rochi has inside, it. She tries to get it through. Casiano on the side. Does not capitalize, but it looks like it might be a corner. So great attack there by Belmont, and they have a nice opportunity here with a corner. So Gaziano will inbound this corner, and they'll try to capitalize right away here in the second half. So that goes to Clark. Clark's going to pass that to Rochi. She gets it through, and then it stopped, and I think we might have another corner. So the deal is what, if it hits someone in the in the box there, then that's a corner. Got I it. think so. Okay. It's a little hard so we're gonna go everything. from the other side here. Inbound it. Here comes a shot towards the net. It's tipped, but it stays wide. So Brookline will now take possession. So a couple good opportunities off corners there, but Belmont un not able to quite capitalized with the goal. But good pressure nonetheless. Oh, she got it way up high. And there's no high sticking, clearly. I saw that the, yep. other, the other day. So there's a nice ball to the middle. But Brookline defense gets it out right away. But then goes out of bounds, so Belmont will take possession here. It's Mia Ferrari with the ball. He gets it to Clark. Clark gets through, gets by another Brookline defender. She's looking to make a move. She tries to get the ball in the middle. It's intercepted. Brookline battling. They'll get it out of bounds, but that'll be Belmont possession, I believe, with a corner. So I believe that what happened, Cheryl, was by putting it out of bounds on the goal line side of things, it becomes a corner. Oh. I believe. Looks like that's what happened. We're, we're learning some of these rules as we go. We were also, you know, if that's not why they get that, it still sounds fine to me. Yes. I mean, the other we'll thing we'll I think go is, with that. The other thing I think is funny is it came out on this side, and yet Carly's taking it on the, on other, the other side. side. So that's a little random, too, if you ask me. Yeah. So that Brookline doing pretty good defense on these corners. But Belmont's had, I believe, at least four of them. Uh, but haven't capitalized yet, so Brookline's been defending those corners uh, rather, rather nicely so far. Now here's a nice interception by Clark. She gets it towards the net, but it's going to be a violation, so Brookline will now take possession. Look to get the ball out of their zone. Some substitutions coming in. So a couple of substitutions by Brookline, or at least one. That's going to go out of bounds against Brookline, so Belmont will inbound the ball. Well, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Not, it must, it must I, thought I, I thought that went off of uh, Brookline. We must have tipped the ball. Belmont did. I think so. Um, so Brookline inbounds it. I'm sorry. So here comes Brookline. They're trying to mount an attack here. We have a violation that's going to go the other way, so Belmont will inbound the ball. Right off the foot, I think. Yeah, That's not allowed. So Ferrari's going to inbound it. Of course she didn't it. mean to. Tries to get it. You have Hanley and Rochi there, and they'll maintain possession. Rochi's going to take it up. Nice Try, tries to get it through to Hanley, but maintains possession nonetheless. That's going to go out of bounds. It's going to go back the other way, Brookline. Okay, is it called dribbling it up or no? What's it called? You, you dribble it up? Okay. I have a, a colleague, we were talking today, I can't even tell you why this came up, and he was laughing. He just couldn't stop laughing because he said that he was remembering when he was in gym 
in the South. He's from Florida. This is years ago. He goes, we didn't know what ice hockey was. We didn't know what soccer was. He said this gym teacher one day gets this round ball out and goes, okay, I'm going to teach you soccer. We're all like, what's that? And then he goes, I'll show you. And he threw it to some kid and he goes, dribble this up the field. And the kid took it and bounced it like a basketball. And the guy's like, give it back to me. I'll show you how to do it. And he just said it was the funniest thing. And now he thinks about it. Of course, you know, all these sports are known and playing everywhere. But he's like, not when I was little in the South. South was probably a lot of football and basketball. Totally. That's what he did. <laughs> yep. He's still a, a Florida, is it Gators fan? Right? I mean, you just, you just grow up doing that. But anyway. So Belmont has possession in Ferrari over to Neve Lesnick. Brookline intercepts. And they'll maintain possession on an out of bounds. There we go. So Brookline inbounds it. Belmont looks now like they're going to get out of it, pick and they a good do. Spot to hit it too, I can tell Yeah, that. she went towards the, a lot of pink there, I thought, but um, maybe she was expecting someone to cut into there. But yeah, they oh, did that's not. a nice ball by DeSantis. Possession to Rochi. She gets broken up. Tries to stay with it. Off her foot. So Brookline now has the ball. They're trying to move it up, but Belmont right there on defense. Get a little bit like looking panicky a little bit from Brookline to me. They're not really yep. trying to find a stick. So okay, that's that was a fake. Lesnick, <laughs> well, it was a powerful cross there to get the ball to the center. Um, Belmont trying to maintain possession. They have it. And I think that's uh, yeah, Anna Hopkins now with the ball. She's going to try to get it over to her teammate. She centers, gets intercepted by Brookline, but Belmont right back with possession. And here's Hanley with the ball. It's a foot violation, they'll maintain it. And she's gonna go up the corner here, trying to get that to the middle. Takes it herself. And now Belmont will reset with Mia Ferrari with the ball. She crosses it well, broken up nicely by Brookline. Belmont trying to maintain possession, but they can't. And that's going the other way with Brookline's ball. Oh no. We, I think we have a corner. That's a corner, okay. We're being told we need to look at the ref's arms. Okay, we're gonna watch the ref's arms. Not that I would still know. All right, so another Belmont corner. Yep. They've had a handful, haven't capitalized yet on one, but let's see what they do here. That's into Rochi, she gets it over to Clark. She's gonna try to put one on net. Just oh. wide, almost. Just missed, Hanley was there on the doorstep, but just couldn't quite get a stick on it. Good opportunity there from Belmont in the corner though. She really wants to get it out of their end. So Clark once again tried to get it to the middle, gets through, gets to Rochi. She gets intercepted, but we have a corner. Well, that was interesting though. I mean, it was the Brookline girl that went flying and, and we got So the is that because it's in the box in a violation, it goes to a corner? In the circle, okay. Got it. So here comes Clark. She gets it to Rochi. Can't get it through. Still gains possession though. She's got her foot out of there, which is good. Tries Almost to get it to Hanley. Hanley's trying to support. They get it back. Thought it might have been a foot violation there, but no. Belmont oh, crosses nice. it, gets to the middle. Just can't capitalize there. And Clark again gets it towards the middle. Again, Brookline's able to get it out. See if Brookline can get it, any attack going in the Belmont zone. They get it through. Looks like Anna Hopkins is there on defense for Belmont. Is there something like offsides? You can just run, and if you happen to outrun the other one, you're good. Okay, that's good. Yeah. 
So Brookline maintaining possession. Oh. Yep. I think they have to set started. up, they have yeah. to reset there <laughs> before they can go. Exactly where. She was, it, it had already rolled forward a little bit, I guess, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the ref's instructing her to go back to the 45 wow. yard line. So Belmont, Brookline takes it in, I'm sorry, and bounds it. They get it through, but Belmont's there to intercept. And here's Belmont trying to do a quick transition here, but they lose it out of bounds, so Brookline's gonna take over. That was a pretty fast one to pull in, right at the edge. So we have about two and a half minutes left in the third quarter, Belmont leading one nothing. Half possession, Hanley, Gretchen Hanley with the ball. She's gonna try to take it up the corner here. See if she can get it towards the net, she does, but Brooklyn is there to intercept. Mia Ferrari in support, she gets it through. Just wide of the net. And I don't know who that was off of. Looks like it was off Brooklyn, so Belmont will maintain possession. So Clark will take possession. She's getting right through the middle, gets to the circle, gets a shot on net, rebound kicked out nicely by Brookline. And that goes out of bounds. Belmont maintains possession. Mia Ferrari gets it right in quickly over to Clark. Clark gets by a couple defenders, gets the ball through. Still trying to get it through one lay or more, but Brooklyn definitely had some layers of defense there where we, Belmont's not getting it quite through, but uh, another corner. So this pressure's led to a number of corners for Belmont and they're really looking to see if they can capitalize on one of these. Do you have to stand in that specific stance that Carly has for the corners or it's just a good stance to be in to get the oomph? You do have to have one leg. Oh, it's just better for, but you could stand straight up if you wanted, if you just didn't care to be powerful. Okay. So you have to have that crouch. So Gaziano will inbound the corner. Get to the DeSantis. She tries to cross it over to Rochi. Now it's to Brodigan. To Hanley and Belmont capitalizes finally on the corner. Yeah. We'll see who gets that goal. There were a lot of people in the There were a lot of people that's and they didn't get the ball. I don't there know were who. a lot of people in the front, that's good. <laughs> Not sure who got that goal, but it was a very good ball move. It looks like Lola Rochi may have got that goal. Assisted by Hanley and I believe DeSantis. We'll get the official scoring at the end of the game, but that's what it looked like here. But it was really good ball movement on that corner by Belmont. And they finally capitalized on one to take a two nothing lead. You know, this is a lot like the first quarter in the sense that we've had it on our half the whole time. It's surprising that Belmont, uh, Brookline played a little stronger in the second period, I guess. Or maybe we had a letdown, I'm not sure. Yeah, there was there was a few moments and Brookline had some possession and had a couple of scoring opportunities in that second quarter, early in the second quarter, but uh, the tides turned mostly for Belmont here and they've had most of the possession this whole entire quarter here in the third which is winding down with about five seconds left here in the third. Foot race. So that looks like it's gonna go out of bounds and a horn will signal the end of the third quarter. So Belmont up two nothing. There we go. We'll take one more break and then we'll be back for the last period. All right, last period of our Brookline Belmont field hockey game. We are at 2-0, Belmont is up. So Brookline will start with the ball. We're gonna see if they can mount some offense here. Obviously in need of a couple goals here to get even with the Belmont. Belmont's looking to counter attack here and they do it very quickly. That looks like Clark getting up to DeSantis. Sanders tries to center, gets through. Rochi's gonna get the ball. She's gonna move it to Ferrari. And now Hanley's gonna try to gather it. She does. Makes a nice ball over to Mia Ferrari. 
Ball gets intercepted. We have a foot violation that's going to go for Brookline. So they'll take over. Brookline with a deep ball to get it in towards uh, netminder Julia Hurley. She kicks it right out quickly. Gets it to one of the Belmont defenders. That's I funny. apologize because no I can't see the number there. That's okay. No one else is allowed to use their foot, but she just kicks it really hard. I love that. Here comes Clark on the counterattack. Gets it over to Hanley. Hanley tries to get through. And will maintain possession on a foot violation by Brookline. And Belmont will take over. Mia Ferrari has the ball. She gets it back to Lesnick. She gets it back over to Ferrari and it uh, looks like it goes out of bounds. Brookline will take over. Again, it's a great night for the uh, turnout here for the breast cancer awareness game. Inaugural for Belmont, they're raising money. They could not have asked for a nicer night too. It's, it's just cool enough, they're not probably dying out there. And we're not too cold sitting here. It's all good. So Belmont takes over possession. Hanley tries to get it towards the middle. She does. Gets it to Rochi. She tries to get it through. Doesn't go quite through. Goes out of bounds. I think it went off of uh, Belmont. No, it went off of Brookline. So Belmont maintains possession. Clark takes over, tries to get it through to Ferrari. And they'll keep possession here. Clark gets through a couple defenders. Looks for some help, she gets it. Now Brookline tries to take over. Nice short pass there by Brookline. Trying to move the ball forward. Gets broken up. Hopkins with the ball. Brookline maintains possession. Gets it to the middle. Brookline's trying to mount an attack here. Not sure if that was a foot violation or just out of bounds, but Belmont's going to take possession here. So Clark gets it up over towards Hanley. It's going to go out of bounds, but Belmont maintains possession here. So Ferrara gets it in, over to Rochi. Rochi tries to get it towards the middle. Over to Hanley. Hanley has it, gets it on net. Wow. Saved by the goalie. Right nice. Legs. Nice save by the Brookline netminder. Brookline will take over. So Hanley gets it through, then broken up. Brookline gets it out, gets it past, but a nice recovery by Lesnick. Oh, that was a good backup. Yeah, that was. You know, help from the teammate. Good support by Clark and the, mid the midfielder. I like team play. My friend here is laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably going, yeah, that's where she was supposed to be standing. Anyway. Okay. All right, so Brookline, go back with the ball. We've got just under 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. 2 nothing Belmont. And Brookline's looking to try to see if they can get some Whoa. offensive momentum going. So 
So Belmont's going to take possession here. We have Neve Lesnick with the ball. She's going to try to get powered through, but it gets interrupted by Brookline. Now Rochi over to Hanley. There's Hanley, gets through, nice move. She stay, stays with it. Brookline's defender is going to stay right with her. It's going to go out of bounds, and we're going to see who goes off of. Looks like that went off of Belmont. Mm. So fourth quarter has been a bit of back and forth, a lot of neutral zone play here. There we go. Another, a, another the aerial. Trying to get it out of there. Uh, Belmont, uh, that Brookline defender likes that aerial, but Belmont actually intercepts it. Clark with a shot towards the net. Deflected. And looks like we have a corner. But that means that she hits it with the back of her stick? Oh, it's the position. She called a reverse shot. Okay. All right, Belmont was able to capitalize in their last corner. Let's see what they have up their sleeve for this one. So it's inbounded. DeSantis over to Clark. She's going to take a shot. Gets through, not all the way, but they put a shot on that, but just wide. So that's going to turn over on out of bounds. So Brookline will take possession. Defended by Belmont. They counterattack. Now Clark has it. She gets by a defender. Nice ball to Hanley. She's going to try to cross it. We got a couple shots at it. Looks like Gaziano might have capitalized with a goal. So Belmont gets on the board again. Good pressure there. Good ball movement. I'm going to see who got that. I think it's Gaziano with the goal, but I'm not sure. Again, there were so many in front. I don't know. Uh, but that was good ball movement from Belmont. We saw it go from Hanley to Rochi to Casiano, I believe, uh, with the end of the goal. We'll get official scoring at the end of the game. But right now, Belmont has a nice 3 0 lead, putting more pressure on as the game's gone on. Brookline now counterattacking. They're going to try to see if they can answer that goal by Belmont. So Belmont gets it to the middle. We got a little rush here. They get some numbers. Hanley gets it from Rochi. She's got Gaziano there. Tries to get it through. Well defended by Brookline. They get it right out. They're going to try to counterattack here. And Belmont will get possession again. So we have Lesnick. She gets it through. Tries to get it to Hanley. Brookline's there to defend. They keep it inbounds. Right up the sideline. Brookline with a nice ball. Try to get it through. Intercepted there. But right back at it is Brookline. A little miscommunication, I think, there by Brookline as two girls went for the ball. That led to Lesnick getting it for Belmont. Now Brookline tries to counterattack. And that's going to go in Brookline's direction. I love it. Honestly, the whistle blows. No one actually even knows if they did something. They always have to look. <laughs> you know, you'd think they'd have felt it or... So, looks like they're instructed to put that right down on the 30. And solid, a solid shot by Brookline right in. Hurley, he's going to kick that right out to one of her defenders. It goes past her, and Brookline's going to try to get a shot through. Intercepted by Belmont. Yeah, 
can't find the ball. Sorry, my camera work is not so good right there. Bowman with a quick transition here. Try to get it to center. But Brookline right back at it. That hits a foot. That's going to go in Belmont's direction. So Belmont has a sub, just a couple subs in now. Uh, looks like senior Elizabeth Amaratunga is in, number 17. And Brenna Aiello is also in, number nine. And here comes Hanley with the break. Tries to get it to the middle. Defended. All right. And we've got another corner. We do. Yeah, another corner for Belmont. That's inbounded. That's Rochi over to Clark. She crosses it, gets through. But a Brookline defender's there. Got past the goalie, but one of the defenders was there. And Brookline with a quick transition here. Tries to get it through, but Belmont's back. Nice back checking by the Belmont defense. And that's going to be out of bounds on Belmont. That gets through for Brookline. They've got an opportunity here, so they've got some numbers offensively. But it's well defended there by Belmont. Now it's number seven, Anna Hopkins on defense for Belmont. So Brookline will inbound it. Trying to see if they can get on the board here with two and a half minutes, just over two and a half minutes left in the game. Nick gets back, but Carly Gaziano intercepts. She's gonna to try to get it through. She makes a nice centering ball over to Clark. Clark gets it, a nice ball also over to Hanley. Hanley gonna to try to cross it. Gets through, but out of bounds, I believe, yep. Almost, some good ball movement there by Belmont, but just got out of bounds and Brookline's gonna take over in possession. Couple minutes left. Brookline's gonna have to make something happen here if they wanna be on the board. They're gonna have to break away somehow. We're just under two minutes left now. Belmont with possession. 3-0 lead. And there's trying to get it through. That's Rochi. Gets it through, but another defender's there. And then Belmont has another layer. Clark with the cross. Not quite all the way through, and Brookline's going to try to gain possession here. They do. Get a little bit of a break here, but Belmont's quick to defend. I guess the fact that it is three nothing is good for the power rankings because Brookline is actually under us in ranking. And if you can beat a team that's under you by the three, then that helps somehow. I don't really understand all that power ranking stuff. But no, I they, there's the some algorithm number. that I'm not going to try to three, three figure out myself. That the magic number. But I think uh, blow, I think yeah. it'll help them with a victory today. I think new rankings came out maybe today, and I think Belmont was 13. That's nice. Yeah, so they've strung together a handful of victories in a row here, and looks like they're gonna be adding to that victory total tonight. We're under a minute now. Oh, well, that one snuck through. That snuck through, there's a race for the ball. Looks like Belmont's gonna win that race, but it might get out of bounds. No, it stays in. That's gonna stay Belmont possession, and they're gonna try to just run out the last 20 plus seconds here of this game. So we have 10 seconds left. Belmont's gonna look to maybe run this out. Although they're gonna cross it through, all the way through, but out of bounds. And that's gonna wrap it up. All right. So we got a three nothing victory. Great game. Belmont had a lot of pressure all game, ended up 
capitalizing on their corners at the end to take a 3-0 victory tonight. Very good. Well, thank you, Chris Rochi, for talking us through this game. And you don't see, but Toby Donahue is giving us our information on how the game is actually supposed to play here. <laughs> so we know our rules. So thank couple, you. Cheryl and I, a couple of novices, getting some instruction here. It's all good. Helpful instruction yep. and we on thank, some of the rules. Right. And we thank Belmont Media, as always, for making this possible.